Hello friends and welcome to a brand new video of infotainment. Well in this video we will see, well sometimes you might have faced that both of your SIMs in your mobile doesn't connect to network, like SIM is not registered on your network, only emergency calls are possible. So many of my friends and subscribers asked us, so what is the fix for that? So let us go to the mobile itself and see how it can be fixed. Well, the first thing would be is to take out your SIM card. I'll just switch it off. Well, for taking out SIM cards, you should always switch off your mobile first. So I'll switch off the mobile. It is shutting down. Okay. Now I'll take out the SIM card. So as you can see, this is my SIM tray. <laughs> it's available uh, in this OnePlus 7 phone at the left most left topmost corner so i'll just press it and yeah my sim card is out so it's a little bit tight so as you can see my sim card is out so i just need to clean this sim uh, by blowing some air here <laughs> and here i can blow here some hair <laughs> So if I clean it, sometimes it ha sometimes it may happen that your SIM is not uh, uh, like properly butting into that uh, OnePlus chip, and it may have some kind of it may have some amount of dust or some something uh, which prevents the chip to butt or completely touch uh, the chip inside this SIM tray. So it's a better option first to uh, clean your SIM and properly place it as well in the SIM tray uh, so that it is not misaligned or somewhat. Uh, lose while uh, inserting into the sim tray so do that once you do again put it inside uh, this is the first action that you, that you should do once you find your sim is not registered so this is very simple and it doesn't uh, like uh, disturb anything in the mobile this is the first step uh, to troubleshoot if your sim card is not registered not showing registered to the network so our second thing will be uh, like once you're inside uh, the mobile you have turned it on then what you can do you can is to go to settings so once you go to settings you can see in settings you can search something called sim toolkit you can see sim toolkit this is one of the app that uh, manages all the sim settings and all these things so once you go to sim toolkit you will be landing at this kind of page based on your mobile um, whether it is samsung or oneplus just find out how to go into sim toolkit or else directly go to setting and search sim toolkit once you go here what you need to do is just go to the storage and cache here clear all the data here clear storage first clear cache or else you can directly go and clear the storage as well so once you do that the all this apps data uh, data will be deleted permanently this includes all files settings accounts databases so before you do that just ensure that uh, your uh, uh, whatever is stored in your sim and all the settings accounts and databases will be deleted so go for this uh, step two if you are okay with this or if you have already taken some backup of this uh, file settings, your your contact list which are stored in your SIM, etc. etc. These days nobody anyway uh, stores anything in SIM. Everything is available in Google, uh, like Google Drive. So it's better uh, to go for the setting as well. I'll just press OK here. Once I do that, all the settings of my SIMs are like deleted. All the storage of the SIM toolkit is deleted. So I go back. So even you can uh, like force stop this SIM toolkit like it will show that if you force stop an app it may misbehave it's okay you are already in a problem so just press okay and then go to storage clear storage okay so it'll clear off all the data so i'll go back the next step that you can do if still it doesn't work you can go to next step that is uh, reset settings i'll just type here reset reset options it will take me to this page in oneplus mobile where it shows that uh, reset wi-fi mobile and bluetooth all these things so i'll just go for reset wi-fi this will reset all network settings including wi-fi mobile data bluetooth so okay reset settings uh, once i reset re enter your pin it's asking me for the pin I'll... so i've given the pin i'll go enter reset all network settings you can't undo this action so okay once i reset everything will be reset uh, pertaining to the network things like uh, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, everything. So I'll just reset. It will forget everything, all passwords, etc. 
so it has been reset so here the problem should be solved because you have even reset the network things so i'll go back once again well the last thing that you can do is uh, configure the network of individual sim so i'll go to individual sim i go to settings and then you can see wi-fi and network i'll just press this and i'll go to sim and network so once i go i'll go to sim one idea and see what are all the prefer network type i should con configure so here i click and uh, sometimes you can see uh, if it is 2g only or 2g 3g go for all the networks like 2g 3g or 4g instead of only 2g or 2g uh, 3g because sometimes by a mistake or by some bug uh, this might have been ticked uh, and go for this option that is 2g 3g or 4g and select this so once you do that i hope the problem should be solved if it still persists then you can go for the actual uh, service center of your phone it might be some uh, more deeper issues or more serious problems in your hardware or maybe in your software so friends uh, that's it in this video i hope uh, this two to three steps would definitely help you to get out of this problem of sim uh, not registered on network only emergency call can be made and if this helps Please like this video and please don't forget to subscribe to this channel infotainment to get more of such technical little little technical videos to make your digital life simpler and easier. So till our next video, keep watching infotainment. See you again. See you soon. Thank you.